Where exactly was Ahsoka during the original trilogy? And what was she doing during the Galactic Civil War? Thanks to the epilogue at the end of Star Wars Rebels Season 4, we know she was alive during this time, but otherwise little is known about her. In this theory, we will explore how Ahsoka could have been in contact with Yoda and come to understand the importance of whom Obi-Wan thought was the Chosen One. But first, I want to say I'm Mike, and I want to welcome you back to Force Within TV, where we're building a theory-crafting Star Wars community, and we'd love you to join us by subscribing. But back to that theory. Two weeks ago, I started this video series on what exactly Ahsoka was up to during the original trilogy. In that video, I suggested that she was gathering up the children of the Force. But who exactly was the most important child of the Force during this time? Well, Luke Skywalker, of course. But how could Ahsoka come to know about Luke Skywalker? As I detailed in my last video, I believe Ahsoka was guided back to the world between worlds on Malachor by Morai, her owl, or Convery spirit animal. You can see in the top's trading cards that Ahsoka is entering a portal similar to the one Ezra did on Lothal that took him, of course, to the world between worlds. But could have Ahsoka discovered the location of Obi-Wan and Yoda during her time in the world between worlds? I believe she could have. Morai, her spirit animal, who is always looking out for her, could have guided her to a portal showing her the location of Obi-Wan. It would have taken some time, but if Maul was able to find Obi-Wan, then surely Ahsoka would have been able to find him too. And no doubt, after she had found Obi-Wan, Ahsoka would have traveled to see Yoda on Dagobah. Perhaps once there, she would have trained with Yoda even. And of course, she would have learned about Luke Skywalker from both Obi-Wan and Yoda and his importance to destroying the Emperor. But how would Ahsoka become the guardian of Luke Skywalker? I believe Obi-Wan's Force Ghost might have contacted Ahsoka and asked her to watch over him. But surely there is no way I can support this idea. Well, I think there is. Think about all the adventures that Luke went on after A New Hope but before Empire Strike Back. They are detailed in the Star Wars comics and the Weapon of a Jedi Young Adult novel, and one of my favorites, Heir to the Jedi. And the weird thing to me is during this time, Luke Skywalker was the number one enemy of the Emperor. He blew up the Death Star. And as Dave Filoni himself has mentioned, the Emperor has a vast network of spies that no doubt were trying to track down Skywalker. So how did Luke avoid these spies? Perhaps he had a guardian that was looking out for him during this time, and maybe that guardian was none other than Ahsoka Tano. But the big problem with this theory is why the heck didn't Ahsoka train or even contact Luke during this time? Well, she might have actually spent some time training Luke, and maybe we just don't know about it yet. But it's far more likely that Ahsoka saw something during her visit to the World Between Worlds that suggested to her that she shouldn't contact Luke. Or perhaps she thought the best way to defeat her old master and the Emperor himself was by working in the background, manipulating events without actually revealing herself. At the end of Star Wars Rebels Season 4 during the epilogue, she does after all look very much like the light side version of the Emperor, and we know that Darth Sidious took over the galaxy not by brute force, but by manipulating events and playing the long game. And part of Ahsoka's goals during this time was most likely ensuring the safety of who she probably thought at this time was the Chosen One, Luke Skywalker. And now to help me discuss this theory further, I brought back Nick from the Official Bosque YouTube channel. So let's get right into it here. How do you think Ahsoka would have reacted to the discovery of Anakin's son, Luke Skywalker? I definitely think Ahsoka would really act surprised because we know from Force of Destiny Season 2 that Ahsoka knows about Anakin and Padme's relationship. So maybe she figured out that there might be an offspring in there or Padme might be pregnant and she is connected to the Force with Anakin. It would be pretty interesting to see how this all ends up. Maybe Force of Destiny will go more in detail with Anakin and Ahsoka. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely something that could happen. It would be very interesting to see how uh, Ahsoka would react to this. Absolutely. But moving on here, do you think Ahsoka was headed back to the world between worlds? 
I think it's possible that she could. We know from the episode of World Between Worlds that Ezra did say to Ahsoka, come and find me, and they both existed in World Between Worlds. Ahsoka goes back to her point of the timeline uh, where she got pulled out from how she was walking into the dark cave or heading in deeper to Malachor 5 to, you know, trying to discover more information maybe about the temple or even quite possibly finding more information on why Anakin Skywalker fall to the dark side. But from the Trop's training cars that we got from Star Wars Celebration last year, they fully drawed one of like a portal and Ahsoka is walking through it. So maybe Ahsoka found another portal to a world between worlds and she's finding more information out with these different portals, which points of timeline Anakin got corrupted to the dark side. Yeah, exactly. I, that's what I proposed in the video. And it'd be very interesting to see, you know, I like the idea of what you said there. Ahsoka is going to still be very interested in how Anakin did fall to the dark side. And maybe that's how she um, comes to know about Sidious, uh, Sidious sorry, and his plans, how, he, uh, how she wants to sort of thwart his plans by making sure that Luke Skywalker you know, gets to his destination that he is the chosen one in her mind and in Obi-Wan's mind, as well as, as uh, perhaps Yoda's as well, that Luke Skywalker gets to where he needs to be. Um, she might even see, uh, you know, what's going to happen, what Luke is going to uh, to do to Anakin and, and help him turn and, and rescue the galaxy. So, yeah, really interesting stuff there. Moving on to question number three I got here for you, though, official boss. We got, do you think Ahsoka could be working behind the scenes to manipulate events similar to what I was just talking about, similar to Darth Sidious, but working as an agent for good? I definitely think it's possible because we know Ahsoka at this point is – out and about in the galaxy and maybe in a way she's feeding information to the rebels that's how quite possibly they got the information for the second destiny now we know from return of the jedi that darth city has planted the location for the plans for the Destiny, but instead in an alternate timeline it would have been ahsoka yeah and it sort of goes back to her roots in star wars rebels where she was this undercover uh you know, fulcrum agent for the rebellion. And, you know, I'm sure she would have learned from that and she, she would have become even perhaps even more um, undercover during those years. And, and yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's move on though here to question number five. We got, what else do you think? Um, so what else do you think Ahsoka could have been up to during the original trilogy? Well, as I said last time, I definitely think Ahsoka is searching for answers about Anakin Skywalker on how he fell to the dark side, or quite possibly that Ahsoka could be searching for artifacts for the Jedi, just like Luke Skywalker did in Battlefront 2 campaign. So it'll be kind of interesting to see if we do explore that either in a animated TV show and what Ahsoka would be up to during this time period, time period of the Galactic Civil War, or even a small comic book one-off series that, like we have been getting in the past. Yeah, I will at this point take anything. I have a feeling, though, that it's going to be a while before we get any answers about Ahsoka. Um, you know, hopefully we at least get some sort of like comic book hint as to like the beginning of uh, Ahsoka and Sabine's adventures or what they what Ahsoka was up to during the original trilogy. But I have a feeling uh, Dave Filoni is going to keep that uh, hidden for a while. But uh, I see here on my list, I actually missed one of the questions. I'm going to back up to, do you like the idea that Ahsoka could have actually trained Luke's, uh, Luke Skywalker during this time? Well, not really. The reason for this is because we know that Luke is trying to find himself as a Jedi. And from the comic book, the main Star Wars comic book, he's looking for someone to train him in the ways of force after the death of Ben Kenobi. He is setting out his own path to find like Jedi artifacts that could possibly help him, like holocrons, etc. And in my eyes, it would possibly destroy the original trilogy timeline. I mean, it would be cool to see Ahsoka to train Luke and become more powerful than Vader. So yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. What what about if it was later in the timeline, say right before Return of the Jedi? 
then yes, it would really destroy the main timeline then. But like, if it was before Return of the Jedi, then it kind of would. So, yeah, it would also be interesting to see them after Return of the Jedi if they do join forces, Luke, Ahsoka, and Sabine, and set out into the galaxy in search for Ezra. And seeing Ahsoka maybe giving Luke tips about the Force and how to use it, that would be pretty interesting too, eh? Exactly, because we know from Ahsoka's point of view that she learned from the greatest teacher of them all, Anakin Skywalker, and it would be cool to see that Ahsoka do tell some Force tricks to Luke what she learned during the Clone Wars from Anakin. Yeah, his dad, right? Yeah, Mm -hmm. I hadn't even thought about that. That's a really good point, yeah, Uh, which I really should have. But, hey, thanks for joining us again, Official Boss. Nick, really appreciate it. Um, Always awesome to have you on to do some theory crafting with us. Where can the people follow you, contact you, et cetera? Well, you can find me on Twitter at Official Boss. You can also go to my Facebook page at Official Boss, and you can also find me on YouTube, Official Boss. So, yeah, it's been great joining you in these discussions, and I'm really liking the videos that you're doing so far, Mike. Well, thanks a lot. I really appreciate that, and we will make sure that uh, you'll be on again very soon. No problem. In fact, I think we have something in the works already. Ah, yes, we But, hey, (laughs) absolutely. But, hey, Star Wars fans, I'm Mike, and my goal here at Force Within TV is to encourage you to share your thoughts and theories, so please answer the question of the day. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on Ahsoka. What was she up to during the original trilogy? Put it in the comments below. And remember, the best way to support the channel is by subscribing or watching one of these listed playlists.